their calves were weaned about a month and a half ago. Um, so they've just been maintained in the dry lot to get them off of the pasture. And so we thought maybe producers might like to hear a little more about that program because it's an option to, you know, maybe run more cows on the same acreage uh, in times of drought, maybe give your pastures relief uh, from grazing pressure. Um, and also feed grain is relatively inexpensive now. And so from a cost standpoint, it's relatively inexpensive to maintain cows using a more of a concentrate type feeding program. So specifically, what is the feed formula that you have set up for this group? These cows are getting a diet <clears throat> that's about 30% chopped hay. Um, it's about 58% wet corn gluten feed, a product called Sweet Bran, and then uh, about 12% cracked corn. And that's all on a dry matter basis. In terms of the cost, this formula that you mentioned is a pretty decent option right now given grain prices. Yes, ma'am. It's right now the cost on this diet is about $160 a ton. Uh, so we've got these cows, since they're in the second stage of gestation, which is the period of time in their production cycle when their requirements are at their lowest, they're only getting about 11 pounds of dry matter a day. And so the cost on that is, is about 88 cents a day. And that's only the feed cost, but, uh, but it's relatively inexpensive. And from the best I can tell, they seem to be in pretty good condition. They're doing very well. And, you know, <clears throat> normally you would think that with nice quality hay, I'd say a 1,200 pound cow would consume about 2% of her body weight in dry matter. And so that's around 24 pounds of hay. But with this concentrated diet, meaning concentrated nutrients, uh, you don't need to feed that much. And so 11 pounds is, as you can see, maintaining their body condition really well. Okay, some great options for producers to think about. Dave Lawman, thanks a lot. We'll Thank see you. you again soon.